Hi, my name is Dr. Todd Austin. I would like to welcome you to this episode. Today, our guest on the show is Cindy Brown. And my last question for you today, Cindy, is how has Abomad helped you with your Lyme disease symptoms and with your Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever symptoms compared to the person you were telling us earlier in the video about Sometimes yeah. I'd even crawl up the stairs and go to bed for three hours after you took your kids to school and all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it helped a lot. I am almost symptom free now. I had already been through proper antibiotic and natural therapy, but it did not take care of all of my symptoms. I still did have some residual symptoms. One odd thing about Lyme disease is that it will flare up during a full moon or if you eat certain foods that cause a histamine response, it makes your, you know, if you have tick bites or any bites, it can make them really itchy. You can start to have symptoms. If you are under a lot of stress, it will start to bring back those symptoms. And even if you are considered cleared, which I'm not sure you ever really are, from the Lyme disease, it can kind of come back out of nowhere and just really bring you down. So I was still having some of those periods after my treatment. And, you know, it may only be for a few days at a time, but there were two things that I dealt with uh, that just never went away. And that was a feeling of pressure in the back of my head. Kind of like you had a hat on all day and you took the hat off, but you can still feel where it was. Not a headache particularly, just a, a feeling of pressure. Yeah, and a little bit of, of numbness and tingling. That had never gone away. And I also had some weakness, uh, probably from, you know, knee to hips oh, okay. in my thigh yes. muscles. Yeah. Okay. Just kind of felt, I call it my wiggly legs. Just felt like my legs were just kind of shaky all the time. Hmm. And I couldn't get rid of that with exercise or any of the therapies that I did. When I started using the mat, and I used the mat very aggressively in the beginning. I used the high, highest setting quite a few times. Which is 158 degrees. Correct. Use that one uh, quite, a, quite a bit to really attack the Lyme disease, anything that might be left in residual, and really try and kill it off and control. And then I used the 104 and would sleep on the 104 setting pretty often, um, almost nightly. I was a little bit careful at first, and if you do have Lyme disease, you are treating for Lyme disease or Rocky Mountain, Spe Spot Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever or something like that. You do want to be a little bit careful, ease into it, see how your body is reacting because you can have Herxheimer reactions where you're killing off the spirochetes and it's making you ill because you're having die off. Um, so I did experience a little bit of that, but not. I could tell that it was starting to work. I got worse for a short period of time and then started getting better. And that's exactly what I wanted to see happen. And within probably a month, the feeling in the back of my head, gone, completely gone. And probably within two months of use, the wig, what I call my wiggly legs, oh. again, gone. Nice. I rarely have any of that feeling. Um, if I, for instance, do too much exercise or something like that, or really stress my body, I can just barely feel it. Oh, wow. But as you know, with the mat, it has cumulative cumulative effects so if you keep using it you will keep getting better and better over time exactly. so I'm confident that it's going to help me get rid of all of that and the big thing for Lyme disease sufferers is the fatigue and I tell you it gave me so much energy using the mat and I was sleeping on it almost every night I did not get good quality sleep before I started using the mat and with the inclusion of the mat therapy, my sleep was so much better. Even if I only slept six hours a night, it was six good hours of sleep. And I had so much energy at one point. It was like I had drank a pot of coffee. Wow. 
when I had not drank any coffee, I had so much energy from the mat that I was just about, oh, I had to back off a little bit on my use of the mat because it was giving me so much energy. And that is hugely important for a Lyme disease sufferer. Yeah, yeah. And that's because the mat increases ATP at the cellular level, which is our cellular energy. It also um, helps um, give us proper serotonin levels, which is a happy hormone, mm -hmm. gives us proper melatonin levels, the sleep hormone, so that we can get more deep restorative healing sleep. Um, so that's that's pretty awesome, Cindy. So thank you for your testimonial. Um, thank you for the opportunity to uh, have you on the show. And if any of you folks out there have Lyme disease, um, please feel free to contact Cindy as a resource. So thank you for being on the show. Thank Appreciate you, it. anytime. Have a great day and happy planning if you're lucky enough to have one.